What's going on guys, it's your boy Mr Woz and in today's video I'll be testing another money maker from the Osiris wiki and this time it's tanning black dragon hide in Al Qarid. Now I'm going to go through as many of these money makers as I can and I'll try and make as much profit as possible and I'll switch things up depending on what you guys want me to do in the comment section below. Now tanning black dragon hide was released on the 1st of December 2003 so a very very long time ago and this is quite an underrated money maker as you can make quite a bit of GP per hour. So according to the Osiris wiki you can make around 456k and 400 GP profit per hour which is quite decent but you can make a little bit more per hour and I'll explain how to do that in a minute. Now of course you don't gain any XP doing this so it's just pure GP profit. The wiki mentions that you should use 2,800 black dragon hides and 56k GP to pay the tanner which cost around 9.2 mil altogether in supplies. It is quite a lot of GP but it will be worth it as you're going to make a nice amount of GP every hour. Now this is more of a medium to high end money maker and the good thing about this method is that there is no skill requirements to tan these hides which is handy. Now before I jump into the requirements I want to show you a couple ways of getting to Al Qarid. Now I know most of you guys know how to get here by now, but this is more aimed at newer players or for people who are interested in finding new ways of getting to Al Qarid. Now the fastest way is using your Amulet of Glory, preferably an Eternal Glory which gives you unlimited charges and you want to teleport to Al Qarid and that will take you right next to the Tanner and the Bank. Now if you have a max cape like I do, this is a method I should have tried out before doing this method but I'm going to explain to you now. Now you could do your runs as usual but instead of banking at Al Qarid you could bank at the crafting guild then teleport using your POH to get your run energy back to 100% then use your jewellery box to Al Qarid and repeat. You can also do this with a construction cape and a crafting cape as well but it will take up a couple of inventory spaces. Now I should have tried out this method to be honest and make use of the max cape as I feel like it would have improved my GP rates per hour but I will try that out on another video in the future. Now the next way of getting here is using the ring of jeweling to the jewel arena and run southwest which takes around 20 seconds longer than the first method. Now there is a few other ways you can get here as you can see in the picture but they do take a lot longer and this will end up putting you off this method so I would suggest using a glory if you want to get here really fast. Okay for the recommended items you will need weight reducing clothing so full graceful as you will be running around a lot. Even at 99 agility this will drain your run really really fast. Next which is optional but will speed up your GP rates per hour and that is using stamina potions. Now as you can see I'm using them just so I can get the maximum GP rates per hour and it does save me 20 seconds compared to walking there and back. Now what I like about this method is that you will make profit no matter what and even though the wiki recommends having 9 mil to spend on the hides you can easily start off with a few mil and after every hour you could buy more and more hides and obviously this will increase your GP rates per hour. One other reason why I like this method is that you could take the lazy route when doing this method. So as I mentioned before you could take stamina potions to increase your GP rates per hour or you can actually just walk to the tanner and then back to the bank. You will lose around 20 to 25 seconds per trip so instead of tanning 2800 hides per hour you will only do around 2000 hides per hour so that method is entirely up to you. Now what makes this method profitable is that you can sell the black dragon leather in the grand exchange for around 3450 GP each which is a total of 163 GP profit per leather and they do sell at mid price as I've checked this out myself. Sometimes you can sell for a little bit higher depending on the demand. Now you can craft the leather into black dragon hide armor using thread but as you can see you will lose a lot of GP per piece apart from the shield which you can actually make 146 GP profit per one. But I'm not 100% sure if they sell at mid-price in a Grand Exchange, so that will be something you have to test out for yourself. Now there is some tips and tricks as usual that will help you do this method efficiently, and this will help you make the most amount of GP per hour. So the first tip is to bring more dragon hides. Now I know this sounds a bit strange, but the wiki does mention that you need to bring 2,800. But during my hour, I had 5 to 10 minutes left to spare, and I actually ran out of hides, so I had to run back to the Grand Exchange to buy more. And I bought another 300 and that saw me through until my hour was up. So I would suggest to take two to 300 more hides and of course this is going to boost your GP rates even higher. The next tip is to enable bank filters. Now this will speed up your trips a lot as you can take out the items much faster. So all you need to do is enter the bank, click on the wrench icon in the top right 
and then at the bottom just click on all where bank filters are once you've done that click the wrench icon again and your bank will be filled with filters now as you can see i have the dragon hide the leather and stamina potions all next to each other and this will help me take out my items out the bank a lot faster now another tip which is related to the bank, so if you set your quantity settings to 26 which will give you a free inventory slot and I'll explain why. So as you are doing your runs you will have your GP, your stamina potion and of course the 26 hides. Now when you bank the lever you can simply left click and it will bank all the hides. Now when your stamina potion is empty normally you would have to left click the vial to bank then withdraw stamina potion but as you have your quantity settings to 26 you can't do that. So the trick is, when your vial is empty, wait until you go back to the bank and you want to deposit your lever first, then bring up more hides, then you can deposit the vial, then left click on a stamina potion and it will only bring up one because there's only one inventory slot spare. I'm sorry if that was a bit long winded but I hope you understand. It sounds a little bit silly but it does speed up your trips quite a bit. Okay, so I'm almost at the hour mark now, and if I could give three downsides to this method, it'd be how much GP you will need to spend in order to make a good profit. Now, like I said, you can start with a few mil, but you won't be making a lot of GP at the start. The second downside is that you can't make a profit if you want to craft the Dragonhide armor, so you will have to just sell the leather in the Grand Exchange when you are done. And the third downside is that there is a lot of bots doing this method, and that can result in decreasing the value of the leather over time. But I suppose bots are everywhere in RuneScape unfortunately, doing all types of skilling and bossing etc, so hopefully they will stop soon. But on the upside, this is a great method to gain fast GP per hour, and you could do this at any level as there is no requirements. Okay, so that is the end of the hour now, so let's price check all the Black Dragon hides I have tanned, and see how much profit I have made. Okay, so here is all the Black Dragon leather I made within one hour, and I managed to make 3,100, which is 300 more than what the wiki recommends, as I had 10 minutes spare. So, let's price check this, and I've made 10.9 mil, not too bad at all. Now, let's minus the supplies which I used, and that was 3,100 Black Dragon hides, and 14 4-dose stamina potions, which comes to 10.3 mil, so my total profit comes to 644k and 800 GP profit, so really, really pleased about that. Now let's go back to the Osiris wiki, and it mentions you can make 456k and 400 GP profit per hour, making 2,800 Black Dragon levers. And because I was relatively fast, I made an extra 300 on top, which made me an extra 60k roughly. So this money maker would have been accurate if I wasn't using stamina potions and I was walking the whole time, then I would have made around 460k. But as I was using stamina potions that did boost my GP per hour, so it is a very accurate money maker and a very profitable one as well. So I would recommend taking staminas if you want to try this method out, and don't worry about how many potions you use, you will be making your money back and more from tanning the hides. So that is the end of the video guys, I really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, smash that like button, comment below and let me know what you think about this money maker. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new for more old school RuneScape money making videos. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.